This bolo category video just got crazy. I just fi finished recording it. It was going to be based on one brand, but sometimes things happen when I'm doing these research videos. So wait until you see these big money bolos. Oh my goodness. Stay tuned. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so why am I laughing? Well, this is a category video and it's something that I always mispronounce. So guess what I did? I went and I looked up how to pronounce this word. So I don't believe it. I don't believe this is right, but it says bastel. <laughs> What? What? Do you see this word and think that that would be bastel? Oh, anyway, that's what we're talking about. This is a bolo category video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I am Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And we're going to talk about a big money bolo item. One of these items sold for over $3,000. Are you ready for this? Because if you see these items, you definitely need to pick them up. All right, let's get started here. And the first item that we're going to start with is right here. And I know I talked about this in another video and you guys can go check it out. There is an eBay glitch that I've been having a hard time doing these Bolo category videos. I got most of them to pull up by just clicking over and over and over again. So these videos are taking me much longer to uh, produce because of this glitch. If you want to know more about this, you can check out this video right here. I will say that I think this could be hurting our sales. Let me know after you watch the other video what you think. I will link that in the comments. But anyway, this is an authentic original vintage Halloween walking witch die cut decoration by Bastol. <laughs> that sounds so weird to me. I thought it was like Bastol. Doesn't that look more like Beastool to you? I don't know. But anyway, $346. This is from the 1930s. And let's go on to the next one. Dead, which means I think dead stock. Mint scarce vintage Halloween witch dancer die cut decoration. This sold for $387.44 plus shipping. Now, here's one thing that I want to kind of ask you guys to see what your opinion is. Do you hold off until closer to Halloween to sell these items? I know there's one person, I've done videos before. I think they collect all year and they have a big following and then they do all of their Halloween items right before Halloween. And it is just incredible the prices they get for their items. It's I featured them in another video that I've done, but I kind of came to that conclusion when I was doing research. So... That's one technique. You make people wait until Halloween or you sell it throughout the year. So this may be one that that seller picked up for $387 and he may sell it for $1,000 right before Halloween. Obviously, like I'm just making up numbers here. I really don't know if this would sell more before Halloween or not, but it really could. Uh, this seller is really, really known for, you know, sourcing really fantastic vintage Halloween items. So something to think about. Let me know in the comments what you do. The next item is this. Um, it's a rare never or wait, new mint, new mint. So I think in it mint is, I think that's new mint. I don't know. Vintage Halloween tickler decoration. And it's made of, oh goodness, is it crepe paper? or I think it's crepe. I could be saying that wrong. This stuff. And it's a pom-pom. Bastel from the 1920s. This is the same seller as the one before. So they must have got their hands on some very collectible, high end, um, not really high end, hard to find collectible vintage Halloween items. This sold for 400 on auction plus shipping. This next item is also incredible. Scarce vintage Halloween dual sided pumpkin head garland from the 20s. Oh, just incredible. $408.78 plus shipping. Have you ever found any of these amazing items? If so, were yours a bolo? Make sure you don't underprice these items. 
a lot of people do auctions on these. If you do an auction, start your auction. You know, I don't know. I would say, I always say start your auction high, but on rare, hard to find items like this, it probably doesn't matter where you start your auction at because it's probably going to go for big money. Rare vintage Halloween pop-up invitation envelope and original box from the 1920s, $426.51. Same seller. They got this doily behind it, so you know it's the same seller. This one is a large Halloween die cat, broomed witch against the moon. And I think, is this called embossed when it's kind of raised like that? That would have been a good keyword to put into the title. I'm trying to see where this one is actually marked. And I don't, am I missing it? Do you guys see the marking? I'm not seeing the marks. Let's see. I don't see it. Huh. There's that. I don't know. Maybe some of them aren't marked. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. It, either way, it sold for $426 plus shipping. The next item is this super rare vintage Halloween pennant banner die cut paper decoration from the 20s. Same seller. Oh my goodness. You know what? You know what I want to do? I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This one sold for $511.57 plus shipping, but we're not going to do it right now. So hopefully I remember um, to come back and do that because I have an idea. This one is an ultra rare mint vintage Halloween mechanical cat nut cup candy container. Same seller. So somebody's either really sourced some fantastic stuff and they're a reseller or they have their collection that they're selling. But this setup right here reminds me of something like a reseller would do. $610 plus shipping. Dead mint. Perfectly pristine. How funny is that? This is a vintage Halloween bastel die cut. Witch wand broom um, bat near mint. $639.99 plus shipping. Let's see if this one is marked. Right here. You can see it right here. Well, it says made in the USA. You know, maybe they're not all marked. I'm looking for it. Anybody know? Are the older ones not marked? And then how do you know? Do you just do like Google Lens or what? If you don't know what Google Lens is, type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens. Every reseller needs it. Needs it. it is a free resource that you can um, identify items with just by taking a picture. Check out that video. If you're new to reselling, oh my goodness, definitely check it out. Even if you're not a reseller and you just want to try to find um, values of things and what items are, it's fantastic. Here is a ultra rare mint vintage Halloween mechanical owl. Did I already do this one? No, this was a cat. Okay, here's the cat. The cat went for 610. The owl went for 900 and, or I'm sorry, 898 dollars and 88 cents plus shipping. Wow, this seller made a ton of money. This one here is went for over a thousand dollars. It's a vintage Halloween bastel rustic fireplace and witches cauldron with envelope. And this is called honeycomb. That would have been a great thing to put in the title. Um, also collectible vintage Halloween is just, I mean, it's just a bolo. Look at that. Wow. 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 Over a thousand dollars. This one sold for $3,107.44. It says, one of the rarest pieces I have ever had the pleasure to offer. 28 bids, buyer paid shipping. It says, Halloween fringed decorations, spooky ballads, bastel, and it says 34. It's got this awesome fringe on the side. You know, for being as old as it is, the condition is pretty fantastic. I mean, it's got some condition issues, but overall it looks great. Now I don't like, you can see right here, it's missing some of the fringe, but this one just says made in the USA also, maybe I'll show you. And I don't see where it says based on anywhere. So this seller obviously knows what they are doing. Let's go into uh, see other items. And this is currently what they have going on. 10 bids on that. This one is at 103. It looks like they're doing everything auction style. And it looks like everything they have is Halloween right now. 
Whoa, look at that guy. It's up to $490. So this is just their store. This is not uh, the same brand, but it's a celluloid rattle. Woo, how cool is that? Look at these prices. So yeah, they hit the jackpot on some major Halloween bolos. Let's go into their sold items. Let's search highest first. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. $5,989. Woo! Candy containers. Yes. Big money bolos. Look at these. $3,000. $3,000. Wow. I am just in shock right now. In Incredible. This is a store display. <gasps> you guys, look at this. Look at this. So this video is really about the die cuts by Bastel, but I went into their store and we're searching their solds and the majority of their items are Halloween that they have sold. Look at this, a party plate from the 1930s, $353. It looks like they have some other things, but a little bit of jewelry. But this is mostly vintage Halloween. Wow. I want to see what they started. Oh, we're going to get the air. So you can keep clicking and sometimes it's going to open up for you. And then most of the time it's not. So this is an eBay glitch that is happening. And it's happening on active listings, sold listings. It, it's just, it's no good. So hopefully they get that fixed. Let's look at some more of these. Uh, mailing, paper mailing envelope. Wow. Wow, wow. So many of these things I've never seen anything like it. It's just incredible. Original envelope for which dancer? This is just an envelope. Just an envelope. Wow. $133.83. Wow. Two paper cups. Party cups. $83. Oh, just so cool. All right. So I want to go over here and we are back into the Bastel category. And I'm going to show you some other items in this brand that also sold for big money. Um, this one here, this is a different format. This is a game from the 1950s that sold for 310. Here's another. Uh, this is actually from a game. It's the unused... Uh, Die cut for a game, 306 on that. Here's a lantern from the 1920s that's collapsible. Just look at all these amazing items. And a lot of these you just saw, but here is some garland, 195. So this category is just an amazing category to find items in. You can make big money on vintage Halloween. Vintage Halloween. Bastel is a great great brand. They do have other things, uh, other die cuts. It's not just Halloween. And a lot of those can do well also. So definitely be on the lookout. All right. We are going to stop here. Oh my goodness. Right? Ah, just crazy how much these items go for. I will tell you that I want to find I want to go to an estate sale or a garage sale or a thrift store. And I just want to find a big tote full of this stuff. Do you? Do you? Are you with me? Who's with me? All the resellers in the house, who is with me on finding this brand? All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know down in the comments how you found the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.